Hi guys, Robert Rivera here with the Rivera Trading Group. Uh, and this is a setup that I sent to the team last night that I thought might be instructive um, for those of you who are learning how to trade. This right here are price zones created based on price action. Probably there are several videos online. I believe I do have some videos created on how to create these zones. But bottom line, you're looking for areas where price has had a uh, stop dropping and stop going up, right? You see this consolidation price cannot come below this area here. Price cannot go above that area there. And basically I use the body and the wicks of the candles to determine the zones. Uh, for some reason, they're not completely lined up here. Maybe because I went down to the 15 minute or something like that. Maybe even sometimes to down to the five minute to refine these. But bottom line is price is trapped in this area. And when price is trapped here, as we were discussing in class last night about currency strength, the strength of the pair is balance. That is price goes up, price comes down, but it stays in this area where most traders believe and agree that this is the current price. Once price breaks out of this area, then we have one of the pairs taking strength. In this case, it was a GBP JPY that took off, right? The strength of the yen took over in this pair and price dropped heavily, dropped really, really hard. Now, when I woke up this morning, price was, let me see if I can find it. Uh, let's see, this is five, 536. Okay, this is what it looks like on the 30 minute. And this is why I believe it is important to always go to the higher time frames because it gives you perhaps a better perspective. When I saw this in the 30 minute, I thought, wow, that could be a fake out to continue going up or perhaps it already retested this area, retested this um, a consolidation here and now it is going to begin to drop. Let me take a look at that one hour. And when I looked at the one hour, I saw rejection one, rejection two, and this was not complete yet, this was forming. So as this rejected here for the third time, I took the break of, I think, well, actually I anticipated the break of the low. As soon as this candle, this candle, which was green when it was going up, when this candle turned bearish, I went ahead and took my entry, put the stop loss at the top, okay? I believe it could go all the way down to here. I took partials at uh, one to one. I took partials at one to one and let the rest run. And you can see how this hit two to one, but it's on its way to completely uh, go, oops, let me move it so you guys can see it. This is where it's at right now. It's on its way really. In just a minute, it's gonna reach down here. But it was a very effective trade. And this is one way that you can trade. There are many ways in which you can trade, many ways that may fit different personalities on how to trade. To me, this is a simple way of looking at the market because it is very consistent. While, while you may not always get a supply and demand area, you may not always get a fair value gap, you are probably always going to have the zones. And in fact, if you take a quick look at this zone right here, you will notice that this actually created an area of supply with a gap. Okay, so you guys, I'm not sure if you can see that very clearly. Let me go ahead and do it like this. There you go. Maybe you can see that a little better. Let me open it up. There you go. There's a fair value gap between that one hour candle and Dick's next hour candle and price came and mitigated it perfectly. When you have a break of structure with a fair value gap left behind, very, very, very consistently, you're going to see that respected when price returns. And in fact, it respected the high. Just simply with the rejection of the candles at the zone, it was good enough for me to take the sale and you can too. Let's go down to the MT4 to partially see what was happening because I believe at about 26 pips, I took the partial and uh, I let the rest run and that's that. Take care guys, bye-bye.